Hey guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. So, I lied. <laughs> this will be the last video with this background. Um, originally, didn't plan on doing another video um, until we actually like legit moved. However, I wanted to kind of do another live video. Um, the video that I just put up today because today is Saturday and I am pre-recording this for Monday. Now I know I said I wouldn't pre-record but things have gotten really hectic right now and it's only by a few days. Like in the in the video I just posted, um, the Milani, um, that has the date as the 21st because that's when I was going to upload it as my uploads are on Mondays. However, I had a more exciting video to put up. And I don't know if I'm going to wait till Monday to post this or not. I think I'm going to post it today. So you guys are going to get two videos in one week. Now this means I'm not going to send them up on Monday. Um, so just so you know. But yeah, I did say I'd put, do a Dollar Tree ethics video. Um, I haven't gotten around to that yet. I will. I promise. <laughs> um, but today's video, as you can probably guess by the icon is the new Disney Villains palettes that just came out today. The, the 19th, so today's the 19th of September. They just came out with these. I went to my Walgreens looking for some Revos. I was looking for the grape one and couldn't find it, but I found the new palettes. And I decided to kind of group the videos together, kind of would do a haul type video, you guys. Um, so yeah, I went to Target, Walgreens, and Forever 21 because Forever 21 was going out of business at that location because they were moving to a bigger one, but they had to, I guess they had to get rid of all their stock or something. So, and I used their makeup wipes like nobody's business, which is making sure I had them handy. Um, so I stocked up on them and I really like them. I know that some people are very particular about what they use. I know a lot of a lot of YouTubers like Bioderma. Um, I haven't actually personally tried that yet. Um, it's a little out of my budget. <laughs> um, normally when I get these things I have to dip into the money I was going to save for a rainy day. <laughs> but I mean it's makeup. Come on. <laughs> anyway. Let me show you guys what I got at Forever 21. It's basically just the makeup wipes is what I got. Um, but I got this whole <laughs> big bag. Basically, yeah, they're all makeup wipes, but I mean, it's okay. so first we'll take care of those. Let me get them all out of here. I got the um, packs of 60. And I'll say I'm pretty stocked. Um, this is the current one I have right now. I'm using the Cucumber Lemon. Um, and this is about a third gone. I've been using, I've been kind of using them to take off my makeup, obviously. But I find that they're very moisturizing for me. Now, what works for me may not work for you. Um, it's not, I mean, my skin tends to be oily and it tends to be dry. So I have to use a lot of moisturizers and although I've been trying out a bunch but right now I really like the e.l.f. one the one that they, did, that they just came out with. That's kind of where I'm at where I like so I'm gradually gonna try out some more um, eventually. <laughs> anyway so I got Two more of the cucumber lemons. I, I really like these. <laughs> um, so those two. And these are both the 60 pack. So they have the 60 packs in them. And then I got one grapefruit to try it out. I'm not really too fond of grapefruit normally, but I heard it's really good for your skin. So then I got a green tea jasmine. And then I got two Cocoa Shea Butters. Yeah, two of those. And that's it for 
Marvel Forever 21. All right, and then my Target haul. More makeup and a tin. <laughs> Basically, um, I've been keeping my daily makeup in a little makeup bag. Um, so I don't have to keep pulling them out of my collection so I can have it handy. So when I found this tin, I was like, ooh, nice. Now this tin was normal. It was $5. I got it for 88 cents. I was like, score. But it basically fits all my daily makeup. Perfect sets. So like, I'll fit my spinning arrow bronzer and it's brush. I mean, the brush isn't all that great, but and then I'll put my eyeliner. This is the eyeliner I use mainly. And then I'll keep my ColourPop tie dye stuff. Now, <laughs> I've hit Pam on all of these, and I'm really upset. But here's the road trip highlighter. You guys can see. Um, swatches of those in my, one of my previous videos. Um, the ColourPop limited edition tie dyes. They came out Fourth of July weekend, um, and apparently Summer Lovin' was a repromote, so they brought it back, and that's actually this part of my eye. Um, and I'll keep my eyeliner brush in here too. Um, I'll keep my mascara in here, my CoverGirl flamed out. I'll keep my eye refresh because <laughs> when I this. I just get really bad bags because I'm up all night. I don't really sleep all that well. Um, so, like, I'll get the bags down here and it's horrible. Um, I'll keep my zit zapper in there. And then here's the Summer Lovin'. Now, this one actually broke. So, I kind of pressed it together to reuse it. But yeah, you guys can see how that broke in, voila, in, my, in that particular video. And then I'll keep my flamingo here as well. And this also has a pan. Now, normally for me, hitting pan is sad, but it's an accomplishment. Because I have so much makeup. I'll have to go through a makeup collection video for you guys when we move in. I get it all situated and stuff. Because, oh my gosh. I spent, now I'm, I only have a few high-end products. I'm more drugstore and cheaper stuff, but holy cow, I spent between two grand, like two grand and $2,500 last year alone on makeup. Yeah. I'm kind of on a no-buy, even though I should, I, I should be on a no-buy. And I'm trying to put myself on a no buy, but as all of you fellow makeup junkies know, it's really stinking hard to go on a no buy. <laughs> so, but yeah, and also, so back to what else? What else I got at Target was um, I got another makeup remover pen. A lot of people don't like them, I guess, because they dry up very fast. I personally haven't noticed that. I like it because sometimes I'll smudge my eyeliner. And I'll need some way to fix it. And the makeup remover pet's really great. Um, I got another e.l.f. cream eyeliner in Midnight. I'm one of those girls who can pull off any type of color eyeliner. Um, I've worn teal before. I've worn neon blue. Uh, I personally like navy blue. And I like my purple. Like a plummy type purple. But... I haven't really been able to dig into it because it's packed. <laughs> so I just figured I'd pick up a blue one. I've always wanted to try the one from e.l.f. And I know the formula is very similar with it being just a different color of the same product that I was using. So, And then I got this e.l.f. blush in the color Gotta Glow. Um, I have one. I, th I can't remember the color of it. I can't remember. I think I either gave it away or I still have it somewhere. But I'm more into browns and like highlighter type colors. Um, but this one has got a glow. It's like it's got like a yellowish tint to it. But it's I just don't like 
so you can kind of really see it. <laughs> um, I'm very particular on what I like to wear as far as that stuff goes. Um, I feel like if I wear too much color, it's gonna like wash me out and just draw attention on my cheeks where I want my attention to go to my eyes. <laughs> but yeah, so oh, and <laughs> what I've what else I wear is my CoverGirl concealer. I am in medium. But yeah, so it fits. My daily makeup fits perfectly with this little tin. Now this is, that's just the makeup I use on a daily basis. <laughs> Not the makeup I have. But it fits perfectly on this little tin. And the artwork's just really pretty. Now, I love, I loved the live action Cinderella. I really liked it, honestly. I mean, I know there was varying reviews on it and varying opinions, but, you know, we're always going to have different opinions on everything. So, I also went to Dollar Tree, which it shocks me because I know I, I worked there when we first moved to here uh, a couple weeks ago, and, you know, I worked my butt off and stuff like that, and so I've been going to the other one. I've been avoiding that one. Plus, that one's a mess, and they never have anything. So, But I went to the other Dollar Tree that's about 20 minutes away. Um, we just happened to be in the area because I was at Target. doing. We were he, he wanted to get an SD card for his phone, so we were kind of in the general area. So I picked up this Wet n' Wild Glitter Color Icon Single in the color Brass. Now, I'm not going to swatch them or anything because... I kind of would like to leave them in the packaging just for now. Just due to the sheer fact of everything is everywhere right now. <laughs> but it's basically just your basic bronzy goldy type color here. And then I also picked up this Milani lip gloss. It doesn't say what color it is. But it's a nice wine color right here. And I prefer my darker colors. I love my red lips. <laughs> As you can, guys can probably tell, it's what I pull off best and whatnot. So I also picked up this, Strawberry Sugar. One of my um, Instagram followers was looking for it, and she found it. But this is kind of one of the colors I wanted to get a backup of. And the only other color they had left was Mango Tango, and that's like a corally color. I preferred the Strawberry Sugar over Mango Tango. If you guys want to know more about the Power Lips, you guys can check out the video I post just posted. Um, so just look for Milani Power Lip Review and Swatches. And I swatched them for you guys. <laughs> um, and then I picked up this Revlon Nail Art Shiny Matte. So it's in two colors. And this is very close to the color I'm wearing right now. This is the color I'm wearing right now. It's the Orly Color Blast in Mushu. This is from the Dare to Dream Milan. Milan. Oops. Um, Milan collection that they released at Walgreens this past summer. Um, gotta make sure everything's okay. Oh, okay, it's good. Um, they released it this past summer. And... It was Mulan, Pocahontas, and Ariel. And I got everything from the collection. Everything. I'm horrible. <laughs> anyway, so that's it for Target. Um, I went to the Walgreens that was closest to his mother's house looking for the Disney Villains nail polish. They had nothing of the villains collection and they said they didn't even know what I was talking about. And I was like, oh my goodness. So I kind of just putzed around and, you know, wasted time. But I found 74 cent Revos. And I was excited. So <laughs> I'm an e. If you guys follow my Instagram, I have a lot of lip balms. I have a lip craziness. Just like I have lip, a lip and eyeshadow craze. So, um, I got a few of them. I got 
one in lemon ice, which is this white packaging with pop in. I also got orange sherbet. I, I apologize for that. I did not expect that to happen. That's our smoke alarm. <laughs> or carbon monoxide alarm, I think. Anyway, I got it in orange sherbet. Now, I've actually haven't tried this, and I'm really excited to try this because I love orange sherbet, so I'm, I don't know. We'll see. And then I was really excited to find these guys. These are the candy cane Revos from the holiday collection last year. Now, candy cane is like something I love. Like when Bath and Body Works comes out with their holiday tradition stuff, I go ape on the Twisted Peppermint. Oh my gosh, I love it. So, but yeah, and I got these for 74 cents a piece at uh, these for $3.20, which is pretty much the price of one EOS. Whereas the Revos are $2.99. So it was a really good deal. And I was like, ooh, yay. They had watermelon and they had kiwi watermelon and they had cherry. I already have cherry. And I'm not a big fan of watermelon. So. Alrighty. Now we're getting to the villains. So. Let me get a wet makeup wipe right here. These guys are not made by e.l.f. As the previous collections have been. Now, the Pocahontas and Milan and Ariel. Th those were made by this brand here. Now, this brand is Marquins. I'm not sure if it's international or... I think they're the same company. I want to say they are. Um, but these are not Elf by any means. There's With Elf, they like to put their name on the front and everywhere else. <laughs> so, these the only mention of who makes them is on the back of the beauty book which is right here, and it says distributed by Walgreens. Normally this means when this happens, this is distributed by Marquins. These, this is the company that has Wet n Wild, Black Radiance, Physician's Formula, Bond Bell, Lip Smackers, The Color Workshop, that whole brand family. And so, yeah, you know they're going to be different. So, and these guys are thick. I don't have my Dare to Dream palettes out yet um, to compare them. But they're a little bit bigger. These ones are a bit bigger than those ones. So basically you can kind of hear it. It's pretty, pretty solid. But this is what Ursula looks like. As you can see, you know, there we go. And all the beauty books in this collection are called Cast a Spell. I didn't see any different names or anything like that. Um... But yeah, they look like this. That's our slot. Okay, so we open it up. And we open it up to you have your products over here and you have your mirror over here. Now, I haven't taken the plastic off yet. I apologize. But it's called, basically what it says down here is bring out the villainous beauty in you. So down here. And they all say that just to let you guys know. So they have the day and the night look. As you can see, it's the same face as the Dare to Dream ones. Again, because this is the same company that made them. And then over to the products. Here we go. So basically, there's nine eyeshadows, a blot, um, eyeliner pencil, lip gloss, this is a mini kabuki, and we have our blushes here. Now this is a two-in-one blush. You have your dark color and you have your light color. So let's swatch out a few. Um, so here is the mini kabuki brush, and there's a little shell on there for Ursula. All right, and the eyeliner pencil. The eyeliner pencil is basically, excuse me, just your basic black. It's called, excuse me, it's called Poor Unfortunate Souls. Um, and it. It's tiny. Looks like this. Well, okay, I guess it's not black. Good thing we're gonna, I guess we'll swatch it. It's like a silver charcoal -y color. Ooh, that's actually kind of pretty. It's right there. It's got a little bit of shimmer to it. 
but if you are a not a shimmer fan and you're more of a matte fan, don't use the eyeliner. It does have some shimmer to it. <laughs> but the eyeliner is called Poor Unfortunate Souls. And then this lip gloss here is called... Oh, wait. No, I take that back. The eyeliner is not called Poor Unfortunate Souls. It's called Black Magic. I'm reading things wrong. This eyeliner is called Sorceress of the Sea. So this looks to be like a corally color here, like an orange red. You have your doe foot applicator here. And it's not really pigmented. It's right here. It's clear. It it's coming out clear. So there's not really much pigment to that. Which I mean, I like clear glosses. I'm not too fond of pigmented ones. But if you like your pigmented glosses and you're expecting something like that in here, it's not pigmented. Alright, so. This light blush here. This light blush here is called Kiss the Girl. And then this blush is Poor Unfortunate Souls. So. Let's swatch those. So there's Poor Unfortunate Souls. Oh my. That's a very pigmented pink. That's a very pink. And then we'll have Kiss the Girl, which is your light pink. This light pink is something I'd probably wear. It's right here. Right there. Um, the light pink is probably something I'd wear every day. Whereas that dark pink, oh my. Me! Be just a little bit. <laughs> Alright, so going into the eyeshadows, it looks like there is four shimmer and five matte. So this first one here is a gold color. It's called Vanessa, which was Ursula's human character, I'm pretty sure. It's been so long since I've seen a little mermaid. And there's Vanessa. It's like your bronzy, bronzy goldy color. And that is this one right here. So I'm going to swatch this one next. This is called Underwater. It's your nice light blue. That's pretty. Now I'd wear that like every day. <laughs> that would be like ah, blue, purple, pretty. Excuse my craziness. I. It's been a long day today. It's just been a but yeah, so that this was the blue hair that I just swatched. This next one is called Dark Waters. It's a dark navy blue. It's like this. And then the last shimmer is called Ursula's Lair. Looking at it, looks to be a black, but I'm thinking it's probably a dark, dark, dark purple. No, I take that back. It's a black. And that's the blue. Now that's it for the shimmers. Next we have the five matte colors. Now this first one here is called Trident. This looks to be more of a highlighting shade. So this one's Trident. Ooh, that one's soft. Soft as a bunny. And that's Trident. That'd be good for a highlighting shade. Oh wow. Okay. <laughs> These eyeshadow stain. I was wiping off the darker colors, and they stained. So, there's Trident right there, but it's a mix of that Ursula's Lair and Dark Waters. So, they do stain. Be careful. <laughs> Alrighty, the next color we're going to swatch is called Nautilus Shell. It's this light purple here. And this one's just as soft as the one above it. There's Nautilus Shell. Alright, this color over here is called Sea Witch. I wanted to swatch the both up. That's Sea Witch right there. Alright, so you have Sea Witch there and Nautilus Shell here. If you guys can see that right there. And then the next two colors are called Flotsam and Jetsam. So, this one here is Flotsam. 
and this one here is Jetson. Okay, so this this light one here is Flotsam, and then this is Jetsam. Alright, so Jetsam and Flotsam. So if you're really wanting to get into greens and stuff like that, this palette's definitely good. I can see why the dark colors work in this palette because I mean it's Ursula, you know, C and stuff like that. Now one thing about these palettes, if they're not, if there's no like sticker here, then it's been tampered with. With this collection, instead of taping down the plastic here, they've taped it here. So if it's not taped here, it's been tampered with. So I'd be careful getting it. Just wanted to point that out. Alrighty, so the next one is Maleficent. And it looks like this. So basically you have when she's you have the castle and you have her as a dragon. And then yeah, so distributed by Walgreens. Yeah. And again, they're pretty thick. So you open it up. It looks like this. Now this one's a little different, which we'll get to. Um, but you have her as a dragon, you have the mirror, and it says bring out the villainous beauty in you. And you have your tutorials. So, again, you know, you have your day look, and you have your night look here. And then you have this. So this one comes with an eyeshadow brush. It comes with a eyeshadow primer. It comes with liquid eyeliner. And it comes with a lipstick. So let's pull these guys out. Now, <laughs> I never use liquid eyeliner. So it'll probably just sit there. Because I just, I've tried using it. And it just throws me for a loop, and it gets all messy and stuff like that for me, so. Oh my goodness, these things do not want to come out. Yeah, no, 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 no. I hope I don't break a nail, because that will happen sometimes. Just trying to get this dang eyeshadow plan on. <laughs> Alright. So, here is the eyeshadow brush. It's got a little down here. And then it compares to the e.l.f. eyeshadow C brush. Um, and it's soft and it's nice. So, And then we have... Put these guys back in. I have the... The small pouch makeup bags and I also have the makeup brushes. I didn't pull those out just because I feel like this would be a longer video. Um, I'm going back to get some of the other products in the collection. So when I re when I do my video next week on those, I'll review those for you guys. This here is the lipstick on the packaging. It says Revenge. And in the palette itself, it says Revenge. So it looks like this. It's really tiny. It reminds me of those Avon samples that my grandmother used to get when she sold Avon. But it looks to be like a very nice purple. So let's swatch it. So it's your... Oh my goodness. Okay. It's not a normal twist up cap. So you have to... If you want more product, you have to press this little lever here. Which the lever's down here. That's really weird. Anyway. That's called Revenge. It's a tiny little thing. Kind of makes me laugh a little bit. It's like, oh, it's so tiny. It's so tiny. And I put the packaging on wrong. <laughs> Oops. All right. And then this here, this is eyeshadow primer on the front, but in the palette it's called Sheer Magic Shadow Primer. This is a little deedy diny little thing. And then you have the liquid eyeliner called Diablo. So we'll swatch it. Oh my goodness, it's hard to open. 
that's just your basic tip. And it's right here. And that is called Diablo. Alrighty, now, getting to the eyeshadows. There's not, there's nine in here. However, they're smaller than the ones on the Ursula palette. So, the first, the top three are called Slumber, suit, Suited, and Vanish. So you have Slumber, Suited, and Vanish. Slumber, Suited, Vanish. And they are from top to bottom, so you get your slumber suited and vanished. That smoke alarm's gonna drive me nuts! Uh, can I strangle? Can you strangle a machine? Does that work? <laughs> Alright, the next. Oh, and slumber and vanish are matte, and suited is shimmer. So the next three are called fairy. So, fairy. Flame and spindle. Okay, so you got fairy, flame, spindle. Okay, spindle, fa flame, and fairy. There's those ones. And they all three of those are matte. There's no shimmer in those whatsoever. Okay. And then we have dragon. Spellbound. And bramble. Dragon. Spellbound. Bramble. I can't remember how I, oh, okay. So, Dragon, Spellbound, and Spindle. Dragon and Spellbound are Shimmer, whereas Bramble is Matte. And then the last thing in here, it calls it a... Oh, that's the other one. I'm getting them all confused. This is the blush. And the blush is called Evil Enchantress. This is the blush down here. It has gold micro glitter in it. So if you don't like shimmer in your blushes, not for you. And there it is. And that is the Maleficent palette. That's the Maleficent palette. Okay. And then the last one. Oh my gosh, this video is really long. <laughs> This is, thank you guys for sticking with me, by the way. This is the Evil Queen. And, again, it's thickness on distributed by Walgreens. In here, if you like your more neutral colors, this, this would be for you. So, we have your mirror, bring out the villainous beauty in you. You have your day look, and you have your night look. All right, and then this one comes with your eyeshadow brush, it comes with an eyeliner pencil, it comes with a lip gloss, it comes with an eye crayon, and it comes with a powder, and nine neutral eyeshadows. Okay. So, let's take things out and swatch them. Oh, and just to let you guys know, they do pop out. Literally. I just realized that it like popped out. <laughs> like, it just legit popped out. So you don't have to, if you want to pop it out, you don't have to worry about breaking it or anything like that. It'll just kind of come out for you. So let's get that back in there. Okay, this is the eye crayon. It is called Vein. 
just got your little evil queen crown there. And it looks to be a goldy color. It's a light gold bronze color. And then the lip gloss, it's a tube lip gloss. It's called Poison Apple. Oh my. Okay, it's very liquidy for a lip gloss. It's not really... Like, I just pulled it out and... It's kind of pigmented, but there's a lot of liquid to it. And that's kind of kind of turning me off to this. Um, this is the eyeliner pencil called Dark Shadows. It's just your basic pencil. And it's basically your black. And then you have your eyeshadow brush. Again, there's a little logo down there. It's an Eva Queen crown. And it, again, it compares to the e.l.f. eyeshadow C brush. And there's those. And then we will get to the eyeshadows. Now these ones are more, again, like I said, neutral colors. So if you prefer your smoky eye, not smoky eye, uh, neutral, basically your neutral look. Okay, and this palette here, I mean this palette, this, this is a pressed powder. It claims on the back of the book. It's called Trickery. So we'll swatch that. That's a little dark. So it looks like that. And then we will swatch the top three here. So we have Magic Spell, Pure Evil, and Black of Night. Okay, Magic Spell, Pure Evil, and Black of Night. Magic spell, pure evil, and oh, what I messed that up. This is magic spell. This is pure evil, and this dark color is black of night. All right, the next three we have cauldron, dungeon. And Scream of Fright. And this is Cauldron, Dungeon, Scream of Fright. Okay. Scream of Fright, Dungeon, and Cauldron. We're getting there, guys. We're getting there. Three more shadows to go. <laughs> I just want you guys to have a good idea of what's included as far as the shadows go so that if you get one and you don't like it and be like oh well I don't like this one so oh um with the exception of Scream of Fright they're all matte so Scream of Fright and the next three that I'm about to swatch for you guys are all shimmer so we have Curse Evil Beauty and Her Highness. I'm thinking Her Highness is something I'm going to wear consistently. So Curse, Evil Beauty, and Her Highness. And actually, no, I'll probably wear Curse a lot. Curse, Evil, Be Evil Beauty, and Her Highness. And there you guys go! And that is all three villains palettes. Um, I will go over the makeup bags and the makeup brushes and the other products that I'm getting. Um, basically, I'm going to be getting the lipsticks, the shimmer powder, and the three kits. So, three kits from Ursula. It is an eyeshadow palette from Maleficent. It is a lip set, and the Evil Queen is an eyebrow kit. So, I'm going to be getting those guys, and I think I'm going to get the one of Ursula's polishes, the two pack because <laughs> you never have too much nail polish. So alright guys, I wanted to review those for you guys. And overall I think they're great. I mean I've never had an issue with the Disney palettes. I really like them. 
I don't really use them too often. They're more of a collector's item for me. <laughs> but yeah, so until next time, guys, I will see you guys in the next video. And I apologize for the longness of this. <laughs> All right, guys.